Hey guys, what's happening? Back with another home brewing video for you. Uh, today what we're doing is we're actually going to bottle. Um, I've just had this. Now I've actually left this in the, uh, the this is the Cooper's DIY kit. Uh, and, and you don't have to put it in a secondary fermenter, which is very cool. I had it in there two weeks today. Um, and this is a, first time I've ever brewed one of these. This is a Brew Canada, being a connect myself, thought I'd give this a go. And uh, the reason I'm doing it is it's actually the Brew Canada Canadian light beer. I wanted to give a light beer a try. It's been a while since I've brewed one of those. I used the uh, one liter glass bottles. Uh, just did a video on how to st uh, sanitize these, clean them up good. Um, check that out. Uh, I, I like these because very easy. You know, you just pop that down and it's good to go lock it in place. That's a liter. Um, <clears throat> I use the Cooper's DIY um, carbonation drops for the sugar piece of cake. Uh, makes it a lot easier as far as uh, getting the sugar right, mixing it up. Let's get this open. For the <coughs> liter bottles, I use two drops. Same as the 750 uh, milliliter bottles, I use two drops as well. Um, for the 500 milliliter bottles, uh, which is uh, a popular bottle as well, I use the I use one. Okay. On the back of the instructions for this bag, it actually says. Use one for 375 milliliter and two for the 750. Um, so it didn't tell me about the uh, 500 milliliter and the one liter. So I went looking uh, a while ago and uh, I saw a lot of people were using uh, two for the one liter and that's what I've been using. It works good. So I love these things because you just pop them in there and you're all set. And this, this DIY kit is so cool. I've done some videos on it. Uh, it's a piece of cake, less messy. You just hopefully you can see this in the video. You just pop this thing right down here under this fancy spigot. Turn it on, and away we go. A little bit of a, a little bit of a, ooh boy, smells good. A little messier than last time I did it. Hold on, all right. I get my towel, that's why it's always good to have a towel handy. I always make a mess when, I'm, when you're home brewing. Came out quite full me, that's interesting. Um, I, I've usually done Cooper's. In this, uh, it's the first time I've done. As I said, this uh, this Brew Canada, but uh, I've got a little bit of head going on here, uh, which is very interesting. Which tells me there's already some carbonation uh, happening. Um, I did add some corn sugar, um, so that's probably what's happening. Uh, which again, it's very interesting. Didn't have that happen before, uh, so I'm gonna let that settle. Um, but you get the idea. Um, pretty straightforward in how it's done. I will be doing a video on a taste test of this um, this. Uh, uh, what do we call it? Brew Canada Canadian Light Beer. I'll be doing a video on that. Uh, let me see. I'll probably leave these in a bottle for two weeks, and then I'll get them in the fridge for two to three days. So we're looking at another maybe three weeks before I'll do that video, um, and then I'll I'll put some aside so we can try them again in a little while. But that's it. That's all I got for you now. And uh, that that head's going down fairly quick, uh, but I'm going to let it sit for a little bit longer. And uh, that's kind of interesting because it'll, it'll it'll take a little longer to bottle these than it did the uh, typically the Cooper's um, product that I use because I've never had the carbonation in the bottle like I just experienced. Um, anyhow, that's what I got. Uh, be sure to check out the website, realmenmakebeer.com. Give me a comment down below what you think. If you've ever had an experience with this brew Canada, again, uh, I just came across it at my local uh, uh, wine and beer pit store. Uh, so interested in your comments on it. That's it, great. Talk to you later.